Hello, today we're going to take a look at DI2 shift test and specifically shifting button issues. If you have any problems uh, just like that, by you pressing the button and nothing happens, uh, this video is for you. We're going to take shifter apart, uh, diagnose the issue, fix the problem, and then hopefully everything's going to be working. Today we are fixing DI2 buttons. Welcome to DI2 GP YouTube channel. <laughs> In today's video, we're going to fix a 105 shifter, but the same process applies to Ultegra, Durace, or GRX, both 11 and 12 speed. So usually what happens, you can hear positive click and here nothing happens. And obviously, because obviously nothing happens, then you cannot shift. Uh, this is usually caused by a too squashed or compressed spring. So what you need to do is just take off that micro switch and then we can, uh, we're can we going to fix the, uh, the spring. And yeah, uh, so for 105 you need T6 and for any other shifter you need a T5. So just be careful so things are not going to fly out. So you got the larger spring, uh, make sure the larger spring there, the plastic bit always faces down and the two small ones, uh, the plastic bit faces up. So as you can see, that one was working fine. And that one is ever so slightly smaller. Two seconds. And that's just enough to make things difficult. So obviously we're going to keep that one as is, although you can just stretch it. So what I do, I just say a wire cutters and literally just spread these uh, coils slightly. Uh, you need to be careful. Uh, you need to make sure that obviously on one side uh, that bit remains flat, otherwise that plastic won't stay. And literally just put it back together so that one goes in. I always install this spring. And that one obviously uh, requires a little bit of more work. So what we're going to do is say, don't hesitate. As you can see, that's already stretching a bit. And there is no set length. I would imagine there is a one from out of Shimano factory, but it doesn't matter that much. Obviously, don't go crazy and try to keep it fairly straight. So I would say I'm quite happy with that. Uh, so the next step is to put that spring back on. Let me zoom in. And then the little spring I always press on that button. So that stays in and then just to push it like that and make sure you hold that with finger and try to do two screws at the same, no, not at the same time, but uh, go opposite. So don't do one up all the way. Just take it steady. Again, make sure you don't strip the threads. And when you end up, that should be nice and clean gap. And now, And on 12 speed, what you can do, uh, you can check both buttons and uh, you can do it by pressing two buttons at the same time and that's going to check the battery status. So that shit is fine. Nice and loud click. And that's very short and sweet fix. So if you're having problems with your 12 speed, 11 speed or any DI2, the button doesn't work or you need to press really hard. Uh, yeah, the easiest way to do it is just to take a spring out, stretch it out and then you don't need to buy a new one. 
Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the content, please like and subscribe, and uh, that's going to help to grow this channel. Uh, we can spread the word, help uh, more people to fix the i2 at home. Uh, I, I'm based in the UK, so it's quite challenging because of Brexit. Uh, to ship things in and out of the UK without obviously huge uh, taxes and customs fees. So uh, if you can do it at home, if you live in Europe, then uh, that's going to work. So thanks for watching and until next time.